Rana, as we watched that last play, Campazzo knows exactly how much time is left on the shot clock. When he's going to make this turn around, there are two seconds on the shot clock. And with one second, the ball is on the air. And it's a four point play. Let's break down a great sequence, a great skill stack that Campazzo pulled off. And what we're gonna be doing is really looking at the subtle details. And as we've been doing in this program, we're looking and studying space and space management. Now, I'm gonna ignore the beginning and we're gonna jump right into the action. So if we start off the way he did, simply at a drop and attack into the paint, he's gonna stop and bounce out. Now, this is where our action really starts. So as he bounces out, what he's gonna do is pull his defender to the side laterally, and he's gonna do a bound to his outside. Now, this is when I want you to start realizing the type of footwork he chose. A lot of times when we do drops, we would use the width of the mat. But if you notice, the defender has given him space in front. And so since there's space in front of him, he doesn't need to be wide because he already has his line. So you notice when Campazzo does his bound, he lands in a skinny drop because it's easier and more accessible to drive in that straight line. Now, this is when the, the footwork becomes very nuanced and very detailed because what he does is an inverted drag, meaning he stops on his inside foot. But if you notice, he also does what we'd call a wrap seal with his other foot. Now, a wrap step is just your ability to step behind you and then you could obviously pull off of that foot. But what he does is as he does his drive and as he's performing this step, he'll pick up that foot and start to do a wrap seal. Now that just means he's slightly wrapping around and starting the process of turning his hips. A lot of times players do wrap seals to actually get around defenders. And this way he just does it to start to turn his body. And so if I do an inverted drag with a wrap seal, now what he's gonna do, he's gonna pull off that foot and he's gonna do a half spin. Now he manipulates the ball and starts to pull it around as if he's gonna do that full spin and he puts the ball straight down, but notice how he just flattens out. And what I want you to basically notice during this breakdown is he's using only the space. He's not hopping to the left, not hopping to the right. And if you notice, he's even shooting relatively in the same spot where he performs his move. So it's perfect execution of exact space and claiming and keeping space, which is why we're using this mat. And so if I have my wrap seal, my half spin, now he simply can do a pullback and gain a little bit of space to shoot. And that's literally the details of it. And if you're able to pull off that footwork, utilizing this exact same space without losing space, and you can get that shot off quickly, now you have a move as deadly and as precise as Compazzo. But if you ignore all this space and you end up covering too much space here, you don't understand the power of that wrap, and now you're spinning too deep into the paint, now you're gonna have to try to jump way far back in order to actually get that three-pointer. The beauty of this is he knows the type of shot that he wants, he knows how to control that space, and he knows all those details to be able to execute it to perfection. So that's the footwork involved. Those are the minor details within the moments for you to have shots just like Compazzo. And if you don't have a basket, then just rep out those details. Rep out that bound into that skinny drop, that stop on that drag as you start to do that wrap seal, your ability to half spin and then pull back. That's all you have to rep out over and over and over again. And of course, if you have the basket, then let it rip. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next week. Rana, as we watched that last play, Campazzo knows exactly how much time is left on the shot clock. When he's gonna make this turn around, there are two seconds on the shot clock. And with one second, the ball is on the air. And it's a four point play.